Hello everyone, this is a 32 back again with another Kickstarter review where I review the good, the bad, and the ugly of Kickstarter creators, uh, at least uh, the more commonly known ones. And I I've done one in the past that wasn't so good, the Cellar Window. And today we do another one that's not so good, in Natalia Silva. And for Natalia Silva, it's a big fat F for a letter grade. Uh, F for many different words that I'm not going to use <laughs> in this video. As she started off as an okay creator. She put out decks, she produced them. There was no major issues. There were various delays here and there, but she did eventually get them out. Oh, went to hell in 2019 to end off the decade where she put out products for the Muertos Animals decks, the Muertos, and uh, there's more. There was the Crazy deck on a separate account, the Organics account. And then there was the last Legion, which was the last products he did, ironically. <laughs> and the Avalon, which is perhaps one of the best funded projects I think that she did. And... It all went to hell because she completely disappeared. She posted one update like a year and a half ago saying that, you know, to, trust me, I'll get them out. I'll, they're getting produced. There's been some delays, some issues. She tried explaining herself. The only reason that update was posted was because people like myself complained that she hadn't been updated. Kickstarter said, hey, you need to post an update. Well, she hasn't been seen since, and now her projects have disappeared. If you click on her projects, I don't click on the last region. It doesn't open up. Apparently, there is some kind of uh, behind-the-scenes thing going on, investigation, some, someone's going after her, I guess, hopefully. But uh, yeah, she's starting off okay, aside from the delays. Some of the decks, not the best quality. They were printed by MPC, I think, back before they had better quality. And some of them were used to see produced with good quality. Uh, I mean, I do regret backing a lot of them, probably, because they're just a little bit strange. They're, they're not bad. They're pretty nice. I was really looking forward to the Avalon decks, which there was like three of them, I think, at least. Um, you know, I was kind of looking forward to them with those. Uh, Last Legion, fortunately, I did not get ripped off on. They're pretty interesting decks. However, and she also, I, I should point out, has designed some other Christmas decks and whatnot that were sold to TCC playing cards and some other random accounts. I do not recommend supporting that because you're just supporting her. But yeah, uh, her communication, non-existent. It's horrible. Uh... Obviously, she stopped fulfilling. Obviously, she was launching new projects before finishing previous projects, which is not good, not acceptable, and a red flag, I would suppose. But yeah, that being said, I have to say that, what can I say? It's a big fat F for Natalia Silva, one of the worst creators that you'll find, in my opinion. And definitely one of the worst ones you're going to see are these reviews. But that is that. Comment, rate, subscribe, let me know. Don't check out her website. Don't buy anything from her. And we'll see you next time with more.